Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Luke Michael Howard, clinical hypnotist and owner of Luke Gnosis Hypnosis. It's been a while. Um, it's my birthday on Friday and I'm going to be really old. I'm going to be 41 years of age. And I figured, what do I like for my birthday? Well, I'd like to be in the best shape of, of my life. And I'm very close to being that, actually. I'm a few pounds away. Um, but I, like a lot of people, like to indulge in a thing called food, especially sugar. So I decided to do um, a three, three plus day water fast between now, which is uh, Tuesday, actually started last night, which was Monday, uh, until Friday, a water fast. And um, obviously I'm not telling you that you need to do this. And obviously it's a very good idea that you consult with a medical physician before you engage in any strenuous or non-strenuous activities, certainly with fasting and stuff like that. I have to say that that's a disclaimer. So whatever you do, it's at your own discretion. I'm just going to share with you what I do. Uh, and it helps me out when I'm on a water fast is um, what do I consume? Well, the first easy thing for that is, is water, about a gallon a day, right? So here's about a gallon of water a day that I will consume, the distilled water, right? Because you want to put the purest water you can in your body uh, at all times, certainly when you're on a fast, because you're not putting anything else into your body. So it's a water fast. You're not consuming any calories or any juices or any fruits or any vegetables. It's just water. But when we do fast and we're not taking, we're not getting any vitamins or minerals in, that can be a problem. So a few things I'm going to show you that are very cost effective that you can add into your water to replenish your electrolytes and your minerals to make the fast um, as simple and as easy there is such a thing as possible. So the first thing you want to do in about a gallon of water is you want to have about one uh, tablespoon of potassium chloride. Potassium chloride? What the hell was that? Pretty simple. Easiest way to find it is the no salt that you probably have in your superstore. We have Lablas here or Metro in Canada. You might, if you're not in Canada, you might want to check your local superstores, but it's no salt. Um, so you want to have about a tablespoon of that in your in your gallon of water. The second thing you want to add is sodium chloride. What the hell is that, Luke? Pink. Himalayan salt, doesn't matter what the brand is, but some pink Himalayan salt. You want to have about one tablespoon of that in your gallon of water, okay? And I'm going to add a little picture with all these ingredients below this very video in case you forgot, or you can just re-watch it. The next thing you want to add is baking soda. Yes, actual baking soda as well. About one tablespoon of baking soda. I've got the old Arm & Hammer here. Can be that brand or whatever other brand there is but you want about one tablespoon in your gallon of water and then you want to finish it off with some epsom salt some mag magnesium sulfate epsom salt the one you can digest right don't take the one that you can't digest because it will probably kill you absolutely don't do that but the one you can digest which is um, magnesium sulfate uh, the epsom salt is one that i use looks a bit like this got that from a supplement store somewhere. And you want to have about half a tablespoon of that in your gallon of water. And that just helps to replenish any of the electrolytes that are lost because you're not consuming any vitamins or any minerals. And as I said, I'm going to put a little snapshot below this uh, for a quick reference or you can re-watch this video. And that just helps me, helps to, um, I'm exercising as well when I do these fasts. It's good, it keeps me um, not fainting when I exercise, uh, keeping as many of the minerals as I can or replenishing my body with as many of the minerals as it can. It's often, well, it's obviously not getting because um, um, I'm fasting. Also, the water that we get now, wherever we are in the world, but certainly here in the city, in Toronto, is there's so much chemicals that are put in our water. Even the water we're drinking is not replenishing all the vitamins and, and minerals. Oftentimes, the process of getting the water um, from where we drink it, from the sewers and what have you, to our sink, it, it actually um, subtracts. It takes away a lot of the quality vitamins and minerals that we need. So we're getting some shitty second, third class water that's not good for us. So we're actively, we need to start putting some stuff back into the water that's generally stripped in the process of, of taking out a lot of the junk in the sewage system which we don't want to consume that junk, but we do want to consume a lot of the minerals, but unfortunately they're also extracted from it. So we have to put some of those minerals back in to make sure that they're quality and they are in our body. So that's what I did. So approximately 21 hours into my first day fast, it's going well, and I'll come back with a report and probably join you tomorrow. Any questions about fasting uh, and how it feels? or why you should do it, watch some of the other videos on this channel or put your comments below this video and uh, let me know your process. Enjoy the rest of your evening. 
day, morning, wherever you are. And always believe.